Hi, Commissioner Sinkevicius. I'm Steven and I work for Natuurpunt. Natuurpunt is the Belgian bird life partner here in Flanders. It's always a pleasure to meet fellow nature lovers like yourself. And I thank you for taking the necessary action in developing a powerful and binding European nature restoration law. It is highly needed actually, because as we speak, nature is disappearing from our landscapes and our lives, increasing the impact of climate change and decreasing the invaluable ecosystem services. Here in Belgium, the past few years were actually very, very dry, causing severe problems to nature and also agriculture, and some places even encountered trouble with their drinking water provision. On the other hand, just a few weeks ago, heavy rains caused floods and even mud streams in the streets of several towns here in, here in Flanders. It would make a huge difference when a strong EU nature restoration law would oblige Belgium and Flanders to start restoring nature at a large scale in order to save biodiversity and mitigate the consequences of climate change. Today, I'm very happy to show you the Zwartebeek Valley here in the province of Limburg. It's actually one of the most ecologically valuable brook valleys here in Flanders. Volunteers and professionals started restoring the valuable peatlands alongside the Zwarte Beek here decades ago. And in the past, excessive brook clearances and other draining measures caused extreme drought of these vulnerable wetlands, not only ruining the age-old peat layers here, but also destroying the specific and fragile biodiversity connected to it. In several subsequent restoration projects, we succeeded in raising the water levels again by bringing the clearances to a halt, filling out the drains and letting the brooks meander again. Followed by appropriate management measures, the peat layers and the accompanying vegetation are restoring themselves as we speak. At the moment, we managed to restore about 450 hectares of an estimated total of 750 hectares of degraded peatland. These peatlands, they will hold huge amounts of carbon instead of releasing it. And they will also act as a giant sponge in times of drought and prevent floods in the towns of Beringen and Lumen and even Diest further downstream. And this will be highly positive, of course, for local populations living here. Actually, a few weeks ago, I was here and I enjoyed the bleating sounds of the common snipe. And the rare spotted crake has returned uh, since we started restoring uh, the peatlands here. The bogs are, are full of sphagnum mosses again. And, and yes, we also dare to dream of common cranes breeding here one day in the future, perhaps. Dear Commissioner, imagine the benefits it would bring us all if we were to reproduce projects like the one here at the Zwarte Beek Valley on a large scale in the whole of Europe. Unfortunately, existing legislation has proven it is not enough yet to make this happen for now. Therefore, we need to make this law a strong and, and effective instrument to tackle the biodiversity and the climate crisis at once. So it could help to provide a safe future for both people and the planet. If you succeed in making large-scale restoration of natural habitats legally binding, we and future, generation, future generations will thank you for that decades on. And we would be honored to invite you here in the Zwarte Beek Valley for sharing a good local Belgian beer with you to celebrate your achievement. Thank you.